Hey, welcome to the Writer's Life, a place you get the sights, sounds, smiles, taste of my particular writer's life, where you get the truth about the writer's life. Um, my truth, anyway. Punch the like button. Ta uh, what else do we do? Subscribe and uh, tap the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on one single exciting video. Um, making my daily trek to the grocery store. <laughs> I only got one week left. Um, here, anyway. Then I'm moving on. Um, it's been nice. It's been fun. It's been uh, different. Living the way the, uh, the natives live. You know. It's always a good idea to, and, and as is typical it takes me a little bit but eventually I'm able to hold even a humble conversation in Italian um, which I did this morning with someone I, I held my own and the words came to me almost instinctually that's what you that's what you need you don't want to have to think about what you're saying um, anyway so back on this like traditional indie thing um and it just got me to thinking that you know like um they're paying like in california now like um minimum wage is like 20 bucks an hour or some shit like that because um the, the politicians especially the lefty politicians believe that they'll they'll get votes you know they're buying votes um if they pay someone to earn a living wage at a job that is not meant to be a job that earns you a living wage. It's a stepping stone. You work at McDonald's, you know, you make a few bucks and while they're in school maybe, and then you move on, get a real job. So now I guess, from what I'm hearing in California, correct me if I'm wrong, like a Big Mac meal is like 16 bucks. Like, you gotta be kidding me. Soon it'll be 18 they say anyway that's, that's why I don't care if I have if I ever go back to California again I'm really not looking forward to whenever I make it back to New York State for the same reason um, so like I said I got some things to take care of and then uh, then I'm out for good but anyway it's not what I'm here to talk about um, back to the like I said the the, the publishing deal Traditional versus indie. All right, so you, I know everybody's always concerned about making a living and how much money can I make and all this sort of thing. And that's why I brought up the, the um, minimum wage thing. If you make, no, bear with me with my math because I suck. But if you make a dollar an hour, every day say there's 24 hours in a day say you make 24 dollars it's a dollar an hour it's not 20 dollars an hour it's a dollar an hour it's 24 dollars and you on average you're able to maintain that consistently throughout the year you're gonna make close to nine thousand dollars on your books that year now that's that's really good. I mean, I've had freelance nonfiction jobs and journalism jobs that have earned me that much. And I consider them real blue chip, not blue chip, but uh, bread and butter is what I'm trying to say. Bread and butter accounts. And then you could do the math from there. You can say, what if you make $2? What if you make $3 for that hour for 24 hours, you know, $4? But here's the good one. What if you make only $5 per hour, per 24 hours, for 24 hours, every day, doesn't matter what day it is, Christmas, whatever. At the end of the year, you'll have made almost $46,000. And... 
in some places that's 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 a livable income you know if you live in new york city it's not but uh but in some places like upstate way upstate new york or in new hampshire or something like that that's that's you can live on that you can live on that well especially if you're single like me so anyway just that was food for thought you got to think about things like this because it's it's math math doesn't lie and it's logical all right um i gotta go into the store here and uh fill up on water and some other stuff and i will talk to you if not tomorrow the next day so ciao ciao